Folks, we're going to get started here real fast. Uh, our athletic director, Mr. Arnold, and our vice principal, Ms. Shaw, for allowing us to put on this uh, whole ceremony here. So if we can give a big round of applause for them for allowing this event to go on. All right, we're going to get started with a prayer from uh, Class of 74, Mike Garcia. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In the book of John, it's, it speaks of the Feast of the Dedication. And that uh, they were actually dedicating the temple back to the Lord. And I look at this as uh, rededicating the, the, the spirit of excellence that Mr. Larson expected and demanded of his students and players uh, to all generations, past, present, and future. And not bound to the four years that attend to Campbell's Sacred Heart of Mary, but as Jesus took to the cross and followed his last breath with the words, it is finished. And they let all generations of Campbell's Sacred Heart of Mary pursue the, the excellence of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ to our last breath, till we say it's uh, finished, for to Augie, and that the dedication that Mr. Larson put forth here in time and effort, his sons, his family, uh, that all the generations that walk these fields and walk these classrooms put forth that excellent uh, spirit also. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, so for those of you that don't know me, my name is CJ Martinez. I'm the head football coach here right now. And it's, uh, it's an honor kind of to be in the same position that Coach Larson was. Um, it's an honor and I respect it. But at the same time, sometimes I wish Coach Larson never really coached at Cantwell because of the pressure that he puts on a head coach. I, every day, every morning that I walk into the office, I know that there's a standard that I have to live up to because what Coach Larson did. Um, there's a standard that I have with my kids in the classroom because it was the same standard that Coach Larson had. Um, but having this plaque outside our office and being able to see it every single day uh, will allow me to keep that standard and hopefully carry on what you guys put forth. So thank you very much for uh, allowing us to recognize Coach Larson and name this office after him. 
Uh, but our first speaker is class of 54, Phil Pusateri. Uh, thank you once again for having me come back to Cantwell, my old school. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I was asked to say a few remarks, and so I thought I'd just run something by you. Uh, there are many memories that we all take from our football days here at Cantwell, and there's one that stands out for me. We're playing Cathedral here at Cantwell, and as you all know, there's no love between Cantwell and Cathedral, and to this day, there is one coach who still hates them. I'm not mentioning any names, but I never liked those bastards. We had just won and it was a great victory for our Cardinals because Cathedral had a championship team. Coach Larson told all the coaches to meet him at the Venice Room and we were going to, he was going to treat us to celebrate our 56 to 13 victory. I told my wife who was in the stands what Coach Larson said and that uh, I had to go to the Venice Room to celebrate our victory. I said she should drive home, and Coach Hernandez would bring me home, and she didn't have to wait up for me. She said, so you helped defeat Cathedral. How many passes did you catch? I said, none. How many passes did you throw? I said, none. How many times did you carry the ball? I said, none. How many blocks did you make? I said, none. And she said, then, how many passes did you intercept? And I said, none. And I, she said, then you've done nothing to defeat Cathedral, and Coach Larson should fire you. <laughs> I went home with her, and she never came to another game. Uh, just about Coach Martinez. Coach, thank you for embracing the alumni and having us come back. And I think you'll find that with uh, the people around you that are from Cantwell, I will support you 100%. And thank you very much for having me come again. I just one little one little remark just came because I saw John. Uh, Coach Martinez, when we were here at Cantwell, there was a little saying that we had when we took the field. And the saying was, Nosotros buscamos guerra. <laughs> Everybody knows what that means. You want to throw chingazos, we're here. All right, so I apologize to our AD and vice principal, but you know what we have to say before games now, so you heard it here first. But our next speaker is uh, Coach Rosmino. Thank everyone for being here today, and uh, it's very difficult to follow Coach Pisateri. Uh, had him on my staff a few years ago, and uh, he never let me regret it. But anyway, I started coaching back in 63 at Verbum Day. I, I started that program. Went to a coach's clinic and ran into Coach Larson. Of course, even at that time, he was a legend. And uh, he asked me what I was doing and what I wanted to do. And so I told him, and he says, why don't you come over and join me at Mount Carmel? It's a great opportunity. So I went over to Mount Carmel the following year with him. And at that point, he started mentoring me. And I am what I am today because of him. And most of you are what you are today because of him. Uh, then followed him here to our alma mater, Cantwell, and spent three great years here and would have probably stayed here forever if my family dynamics had not changed and caused me to move on to a public school situation, which I thought I would never do. But anyway, 
Those years were fantastic years here, walking the halls again as a coach rather than a student, and continuing to learn from Dick on the finer points of coaching and dealing with young men such as yourself. And I want to thank everyone who put this on, Coach, and the athletic director, principal, and everyone here today. And thank you for the opportunity to share in this dedication. All right, our next speaker is class of 71, Bob Coda. Well, I want to thank you all for coming in, and Coach, and all the accolades, and everybody that put this together. Uh, I'm going to say something a little bit different. I'm going to challenge you, your education, to see if you can find out where I got this from. And this is Cantwell's 76th year educating and helping you know turn men into real men. Thank you. Three score and 15 years ago, Archbishop John J. Cantwell brought forth to Montebello a new high school dedicated to the principle of excellence in preparing young men for the future. Dick Larson was one of those that started with the school and became a part of Cantwell High history as a founding cardinal, graduated in 1954 or 1953. Now we are here dedicating a portion of that school, the coach's office, formerly the equipment room, when I was going to school here back in 1971, where he spent countless hours preparing his student athletics athletes to be the best that they could all be. And henceforth known as Dick Larson's coach's office. It is altogether proper for us to do this for coach who was such a dedicated Cantwell Cardinal as a coach, teacher, and alumni. And we the living will always be highly thankful for the job that he did here at Cantwell and his complete dedication. My apologies to Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got two speakers coming up next. Class of 70, Pat McDermott, and class of 72, Danny McDermott. Good afternoon, and it's quite a privilege to be here and be able to speak on the life and good times of Coach Dick Larson. I have two events in my life that were taught by Coach many years ago, and they're seared in my memory and my heart. One of them is a little humorous, and the other one's a little more serious. The first one is Coach had asked me and my teammate, Gary Schmidt, best friend as well, to go down to the ice house and get some ice. We needed it for the field house. He gave us some money. We got in our car, went down there, looked around, couldn't find any operator. So we walked it to the door of the ice house, which was a big freezer, and it wasn't locked. So we figured, oh, okay, we'll just go help ourselves. Go in there, get a bunch of ice, put it in the car, come back. Coach is out here in the field, says, we got the ice and here's your money back. He says, what do you mean my money back? We said, well, nobody was there, door was unlocked, we took the ice and brought on back. He says, you guys get your butt in the car, you go back there, you find that owner, and you give him the money, and you tell him what you did. So we did, and it was something that uh, we learned never to do again. The other event was Coach Larson was quite the inspirational, motivational speaker. 
and he used to like to give the seniors kind of a farewell on the last game of the year. So he had us all down together, just the seniors, and he started off by letting us know that many of us probably won't be playing this anymore. This will be our last game. But more importantly, he says, I hope you all learned a lot about life, about this sport. He says, there's going to be a day when you're going to have a family and you're going to have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning or maybe earlier and you're not going to want to do it. It's like here on the football field when you're in the fourth quarter and you're maybe down but winnable. And you have to pick yourself up and find that extra in you to make it happen and win the game. Well, that thought always stayed with me. And there have been many mornings when I didn't want to get up. And I always remembered what Coach said. And that was what got me out of my bed and to work or whatever other duty I had to do at that time. So thank you, Larson. You're such a great inspiration. And you did a lot for my life. And I know you did a lot for other people too. Thank you, Coach Martinez, for sponsoring this and uh, athletic director. And thank you. Before I get going, uh, Coach Pusateri, I think I learned more Spanish from you than my Spanish teacher. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So anyway, um, welcome fellow Cardinals, Cardinals fam Cardinal families, and Cardinal supporters. Welcome here to Cantwell High School, Cantwell Sacred Heart of Mary. And I don't want to offend anybody, but uh, when I say Cantwell, you know what I really mean. It's just that it comes out automatically. So I apologize in advance. Today we're here to mem uh, mem memorialize a great man, mentor, leader, and loyal Cardinal supporter. Coach Dick Larson's legacy at Cantwell started as a student athlete. Coach Larson came, came back later to Cantwell as a full-time teacher and coach. After all that, Coach Larson continued his loyalty to uh, Cardinal football by attending games, participating in our, in our annual Hall of Fame dinner, all up until he could not no longer do it. Coach Larson demonstrated a clear love and loyalty to his home at Cantwell. I think the Marine Corps calls that Semper Fi, always loyal. Now we have an opportunity, or some feel is more of a duty, to remember Coach Larson by continuing his legacy, by coming and giving our support to Cardinal football. Building a lasting le legacy to Cardinal tradition is a very important task. If we don't do it, it won't survive. We are not a modern day, nor are we a Bosco, Servite, Santa Margarita. We are the underdogs, and we always knew that. Under Coach Larson, we built a legacy upon this. A, touch, a, a bunch of tough kids, undersized, from the San Gabriel Valley and East LA area that won't give up. It's always about us as Cardinals. And this day, that's why we always refer to each other as brother. In today's environment, it seems as the trend is, is all about me. That attitude cannot survive an organization. This must be redirected to, it's all about us. If so, we can accomplish great things if no one cares who gets the credit. Exemplifies the Cantwell Sacred Heart of Mary thought. It's about leadership and accountability, as we are taught by the Coach Larson staff. And I want to pause for a moment to thank the coaching staff in attendance today for shaping us who we are today. At present, Cantwell football is on the rise. And coach, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we have now 13 scholarships. That's unprecedented 
That's what education is all about. We're at a college preparatory school. And the athletes should also have the opportunity through the athletic program here at Cantwell. Cantwell Sacred Heart and Mary High School. Fellow Cardinals, please come home and give back to Cantwell Sacred Heart and Mary what has been given to you. God bless you all and go Cardinals. All right, our next speaker, class of 74, John Larson. First, I'd like to thank everyone for showing up, especially the school for sponsoring, putting it on, and coach, your staff, and wonderful. But especially to everybody that took the time out, there's certain people need to be recognized. Tommy and, and Sonny Boy really got the ball moving on this. Jim Santiago and, and Dominic putting up the black. And there's countless others. I don't want to forget anybody's names, but those guys really stand out and they should be honored and thanked. My father loved this place. He really did. I know he moved on and he had some great success in other places, but I think it really bothered him that it wasn't here, that those uh, championships didn't occur. And I know deep down inside, this is the only place he really wanted to be. So it's fitting that there's a plaque up there and we appreciate it on behalf of the family. My, my brother's here. We really appreciate it. And uh, we can't say enough about the school. Like Danny said, if you have a chance to give back, please do. The coaching staff is really working hard, and it's, this team is on the rise. They have some talent, and they look good. And uh, if you can come out and support them in the, uh, during the season, it would be really great. But again, on behalf of me, my family, and my, you know, from my father, thank you so very much for this honor. Appreciate it. Thank you for those stories. Those are great stories. And like I said, I hope one day I have former players up here talking the same way you guys speak about Coach Larson, about myself. And uh, I can't wait for this season. Um, like a lot of these guys said, I think our football program is on the rise. If you admired Coach Larson because of tenacity, I hope I can match it. If you admired him because of how tough he was on kids, I hope I can match that as well. Because I'm just trying to be an image of what he was here and try to build my players into what you guys were. And, um, can't well man and see where we can go with this but once again thank you guys and a round of applause for all you guys for coming out and supporting and that's all we got if you guys want to go ahead and check inside the coach's office check inside the weight room take a peek do what you guys want um, some food on the way and just enjoy yourselves but once again thank you guys <laughs>